Hi, welcome to this video series. Um, this is going to be five different videos. Um, this one's just kind of an introduction. Um, these are going to talk about nine lead dual voltage motors, right? So these motors, uh, we're going to talk about either the Y motor like you see over here or the Delta motor that you see over here. Uh, nine lead dual voltage motors. Uh, so again, uh, these are motors that I'm going to buy from a factory, right? And they're going to come pre-wired for me with nine leads or nine terminals inside that junction box. And these are dual voltage motors, meaning I can wire them in either a high voltage connection or in a low voltage connection. Um, so we'll kind of get into talking about those, but I just want to cover just the basic labeling in this one of what a nine lead Y motor would be. If you want to check out my other nine lead Y motors, please check out those videos. Uh, and then a nine lead Delta, again, I'll do two separate videos on that as well. Both of them talking about the low voltage and the high voltage connections for both of those. But first I just want to talk about the labeling, right? What you could expect uh, when I pull this motor out. So let's start with the Delta. So this is a nine lead Delta motor. So this nine lead Delta motor is six windings built into it, right? Wired at the factory. Uh, I have nine of the, what would be 12 leads. I have nine of them in my junction box. So I have T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, T8, and T9. Now those would be my NEMA terminal identifiers on my nine lead Delta. Uh, again, six different windings. And the way I would identify this, if I, if I didn't know if it was Y or Delta, I could use a multimeter and I could just do an ohmic test. And my Delta motor is three sets of three uh, leads, right? Three sets of three, I'm gonna get continuity, you know, T9, T4, T1, T4, T7, T2, T5, T8, T3, and T6. I'm gonna have continuity. So that's how I would determine the, the delta motor. Uh, and that terminal identification becomes very important when we're actually attempting to connect up this motor into that low or that high voltage connection. Now over here, I have my nine lead Y motor. Uh, how I would identify my Y motor versus my Delta motor is my Y motor, I would have one set of three, right? Which would be my Y point here in the middle. I would have continuity between those three points and three sets of two, right? So one, two, three windings, right? So that's how I would identify that with my ohm meter. Now in terms of terminal identification, uh, again, we start with T1 at the top, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, T8, and T9. Uh, now you'll notice some similarities here, right? It's because it's really the same windings inside that motor. T1 and T4 make up a winding. T1 and T4 make up a winding. Five, two and five, two and five, right? Three and six, three and six. Uh, what we don't see here is inside the motor is actually T10, 11, and T12, and they're all joined at the factory. We don't have access to those terminals. Same with we don't have access to them here, right? We don't have access to uh, what would be 10, 11, and 12. They're actually pre uh, connected at the factory, but they're actually the same windings, just configured in a different way. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check out the two Delta videos over here and the two Y videos over here. Uh, and those are going to help you just make that low voltage and high voltage connection with these motors. Thanks.